just going to take some time today to show you one of my favorite family classic recipes called Angel's Food. And now I'm just going to tell you a couple of the ingredients that we need. Um, well, main ingredients are eggs. We need four metric cups of milk. We need one cup of hot water. Gelatine, plain gelatine, not flavored gelatine. And we need vanilla extract. Three tablespoons of sugar. And that's about it, the ingredients. For all of our ingredients pre-measured, we have vanilla extract. We have our sugar, plain gelatine, our egg yolks, egg whites, and our milk. And we are going to pour each of them into that electronic pot over there. All right, guys, well, we better get started. We've got our egg yolks, our sugar, and our milk, which we are all going to pour into this machine. Now, this machine does most of the work for us. It can whisk, it can cook, and it can beat. Well, we are just going to whisk the eggs with the milk, then we're going to put the sugar in, then we're going to cook it for a bit, but not until it boils. It cannot boil. Then just wait for a couple of little bubbles to go around the edges. If you don't have one of these machines, you're going to have to have a large saucepan. You're going to have to put it on a stove and you're going to need to, this one stirs by the way as well. So you're going to need to stir it and you're going to need to whisk it yourself until you see little bubbles on the side of the pan. And without further ado, let's do this thing. In it goes. Pour that in. Oop. Matthew is doing an epic cooking bail show. Shut up. All right, now before we do anything, we need to whisk this. Sorry that I spilled a bit of milk a little while ago, but anyway. Okay, well, we've got everything into the machine and it's time to whisk it for three minutes. Now we're going to push the button and the whisking. Shut it again. Well, our three minutes is up. Uh, the whisking is over. Now let's take a look at this thing. Mmm, -hmm. lovely. Now we put some heat into it and we put the sugar into it and we stir and stir and stir until a couple of bubbles end up popping up to the side. Then we know it's ready. It's time now to pour the egg mixture into the main bowl. We've mixed the sugar and the milk in with it and it's coated the back of the spoon, which means it's thick enough. And it's just started to bubble around the side, so it's hot enough. Now, we'll open that there. All right, folks, so what we've done is we've taken the mixture out of the, um, the blender and we're all ready to pour this into the main bowl. And here we go right now. This works and it looks absolutely beautiful. It's sparkling. It's lovely. Beautiful. Hello. I think the last drops in. Here we go. So look how you like it. I love it. I'm so proud. I had a little taste a little while ago. It tastes like angel's food and liquid form. Ding. So what I've just done is I've heated up some water in a kettle, as you can see. I'm going to now pour this into the bowl. There we go. And now I'm going to sprinkle gelatine on it. Right. Dessert spoon. How much gelatine do you sprinkle on that? Well, about one and a half packets. So you do it all slowly? Yes, all slowly. And it has to be spread equally around the water. All right, now, I've got more. This may take a while, folks, I just. Do you stir it at all? No, you don't stir it, you just 
sprinkle it on the top and wait for it to dissolve. Then once it's dissolved, we're going to put it into the cool mixture. And what's supposed to happen in this little bowl? Well, what's going to happen is that when the, when the gelatine melts, it's going to make the water very thick. And then if you pour it into that mixture, which will happen when we put it in the fridge, the gelatine will set and it will make that mixture all jelly-like. Well, as you can see, I'm stirring the gelatine in the hot water to make sure it gets nice and thick so we can put it into the custard, then it will set. And that's what makes the, uh, the angel's food nice and jelly-like. Isn't that nice? It looks quite right now. Now, we may just have a little check on the... I'm going to check and see if the mixture is cooled off. It's actually cooled off a fair bit. Show us. Alright, well, it's steaming at the moment because the heat is trying to cling on to its last life. And it looks lovely. Da da da! Oh, that's looking beautiful! Yeah! So, these are the egg whites right here, beautiful and yellow. We're going to pour them into the bowl. Perfect. Going to leave the lid on here. There we go. Now we're going to set it. Let there be froth. All right. Well, I've got my mixture right here, along with the gelatine and the vanilla essence. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now pour the gelatine in and stir it around a bit. Once I've mixed it around enough, I'm then going to pour the vanilla extract in. And if you can hear, I'm having my eggs, my egg whites beaten right now. So we have to advance and we're almost done and we're ready to fold it into the mixture. <laughs> Here we go. And in it goes. Oh, perfect. Alright. Need some help? No, I'm alright. Got it? Got it. I'm going to fold it into the mixture. And why do you fold it? So I can get it mixed in with the whole mixture and get the gelatine into it so it sets and it doesn't lose any of its beautiful bubbles. And so it gets all the flavour from the mixture into it. And it's looking rather nice. I didn't expect it to look quite so bubbly. Ah! Beautiful. Got some lovely bubbles too. Now the only thing left to do is to put it in the fridge and chill. And now comes the two worst parts. Waiting and washing up. Mm. Let's have a look at that finished product. Yeah. Let me see. Right here. I'll delicately show you. Wow. Nice so it's still a little liquidy, right? Well, underneath it's a liquid, yeah. And mm. that's meant to be because the bottom is a nice jelly type thing and the top is the froth. So what happens? What happens is when it sets, the bubbles will stay where they are, the froth at the top, and the bottom will be a nice jelly type wobbly thing. Thank you so much for watching today. Angel's Food is one of my absolute favourite desserts and hopefully it becomes one of yours. Thank you very much for tuning in to this video and I'm very, very grateful for you watching. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Oh, and I forgot. This little baby here needs to go in the fridge. 
And in it goes. Ta-da! See ya.